Hey guys, I want to make a quick video for you. This is a question that I see a lot and that is how do I buy a domain name from one company and hosting from another company and link them up to work together and why would you want to do this for? Well, for me personally, the reason that I do this is mostly for security uh, because if you, if you buy your domains and you're hosting through the same account, and if someone hacks that account, they have access to your domain, your hosting, and everything. Um, if you split them up like this, someone hacks your hosting account, yes, they can get into your hosting account, but they can't do anything to your domain name. It's just safer. For me, it's, it's just a lot safer. Um, and another reason is because I love this website called Name Silo. You can check it out at namesilo.com. This is where I buy all of my domain names because they're cheaper than anywhere else. It's really fast to get sites set up and you can also uh, manage all your domains really easy here okay so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to buy a domain name through name silo and how to redirect it or point it to your hosting account which is bought through a different company and this is all done through editing your name server records now this is very easy to do but it is gonna be different depending on what company you're using you may have to go into the knowledge base or the help center and just do a search for name servers or how to update name servers and it'll show you step by step how to do it but it is pretty easy to do especially on name silo so let's go ahead in here and I'm just going to type in um, just a, a weird domain just to show you for an example we'll say um, amazing Friday and we'll put a 21 at the end just to, I don't know just because and if you scroll down here you can see all these extensions and it is available and actually it's only seven dollars and eighty nine cents so it looks like they are doing some discounts today normally it's about eight ninety nine uh, but you can get it for you know a little over a dollar cheaper so go here and buy you a few domains today okay so what you want to do is you want to come over and click on add and then click on checkout now one reason I love name silo too is because when I buy domains and I redirect it to my hosting account because most of the hosting that I get anymore, I get them from uh, cloudhosting5.com. It's cloud-based hosting. It's super fast and it is very, very cheap. Um, I'll put the link for that below this video, but it's just cloud hosting, then the number 5.com if you want to go there and check it out. And so what you want to do is click on edit name servers. And when you sign up for a hosting account, regardless of what company you're using, they're going to send you a welcome email that has all the details about your hosting account, your login information, and it's also going to include your name servers for uh, your hosting account. But you can see here, this is the email that I got when I signed up, and here are my name servers. I have four of them. You may only have two. You may have three. You may have more. It's just different. But um, the one that I'm using has four, and the first one is ns1.vertono.com. So I'm going to copy this. And you can see the second one, the third one, and the fourth one, they're all the same except for the number. There's a number two, number three, and number four. So what I'm gonna do is I would come over here and I would put this here in the first one, which I've already got it here, so I don't have to. And then the second one in the second, third, and then the fourth, and so on, depending on how many name servers I have. Once I do that, I'm gonna scroll down and click on Submit. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go through and purchase the domain now and what name silo is going to do is take this information they're going to say oh, okay I got to point it to these name servers which is for my hosting account and so as soon as I purchase this it's going to start pointing to my hosting account which means uh, hopefully within the next few minutes at the latest the next few hours I can log into my hosting account and I can start using this domain there that's all there is to it guys it's super easy it's just changing your name servers to whatever the web hosting company is giving you so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have questions or anything just leave them below and i will get to them as soon as i can thanks